Hi everybody, and welcome to another episode of Jacob Lenoff's Travels America. My name is Vinny, and I'm answering questions for Jacob Lenoff's YouTube channel. Um, where was I born? I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I live in Miami Beach now for about 12 years, and I love it here. I, uh, I went to school in New York. I went to St. John's University in Allied Sciences. When I came here, I went to uh, the Dade Medical College and I studied radiology for about two and a half years until my school recently closed uh, a month before I was supposed to graduate. So, um, yeah, hopefully I'm going to be starting back. I'm thinking of going for a PA, physician's assistant. I, uh, Christmas present. What's the best Christmas present I got this year? Hmm, let's see. Definitely the best Christmas present I got was for my niece and nephew. And they, they got their, a bunch of pictures of us together through the years from the holidays and birthdays and their communions and so many family events we've had and they uh they they made it's kind of like uh it's a frame but it's one of those frames that you can put multiple pictures in so there's about 10 10 different pictures of us having good times that's my favorite holiday christmas by fall and it's not just for the presents i really i really prefer buying the presents than receiving them but it's just you know, I'm from New York, so I always travel back home. In 12 years, I only only miss one Christmas. And I don't plan on ever having Christmas in South Florida again. It was very different for me. But uh, yeah, definitely Christmas. I usually go in a few days before. And I do all my Christmas shopping and go to Rockefeller Center. And do all the cheesy stories, tea things, even though I'm not a tourist. But, uh, no, I catch up with my friends. I usually have a night that I go see my friends, and then my mom has a big, huge Christmas Eve gathering. And then I have a big family, so everybody go and goes to their relatives. And now me and my sister, my niece and nephew, we uh, we started the tradition that Christmas night we all go back to my sister's house once all the craziness is all done and the presents and this and that. And, and uh, the next day, it still continues. We usually go to um, go to Atlantic City. My mom is a big fan of Atlantic City, so we, uh, she usually gets rooms for us all, and we go and we just extend all of it before I come back to the warm weather and they're stuck in New York and cold. But uh, yeah, uh, what's the best thing that's happened to me this year? Let's see. It's very early in the year, but actually. Something amazing happened. I uh, I actually got a job at this gym that I absolutely love. I was let go from my job a few months ago, and you know it was difficult to deal with. I was there for three years, and you know I didn't know, wasn't quite sure I was going to do my school clothes, then lost my job, and blah blah blah. So uh, yeah, I started working out at this new gym. It's uh, you know it's a very very hardcore gym, and it's very it's massive and it's just, you know, people are fit and they're nice and they're different and it's away from where I live. So I'm making new friends. And then I found out they were hiring, so I started working at the front desk and doing membership. And it's awesome. I mean, basically, I don't have a car, so I ride my bike three and a half miles to work and three and a half miles back. I actually had off today and I rode three and a half miles to go work out and back. So it's a uh, it's a bit challenging, but it's a uh, it's great. I'm around people with good energy, and I love it. And you know that's what's important to me. Be around real. I don't care what people look like. I don't care about anything. How much money they have. It's you know when somebody is genuine, and you know sometimes it's a little difficult to find here in uh, Miami Beach. So I I'm very happy where. That's something really major. 
because I started going to this gym and I loved it so much and I was telling my friends how much I loved it and all of a sudden I'm working there so that's wonderful and uh, yeah what movies um, okay. when it comes to movies I'm a bit odd I like psycho thrillers but I have to say my favorite movie definitely of all time is uh, Grease um, when I was a kid, my dad took us to go see Grease on Broadway. So that was a, that was a few years back. And uh, ever since then, me and my brother and sisters love it. And you know, there's, there's a big gap between me and my brother and sisters. So they would always, you know, my, we used to have the record. That's just, and uh, my sisters, also the, that big giant cassette you put in the thing. <laughs> And my brother and sisters used to act out the characters, and then they used to let me uh, be a part of it. <laughs> so I used to just watch, and I used to just, you know, watch the movie with them, and then watch them do their little performance downstairs in my parents' garage, and you know, it just brings back great memories. And you know, we still, you know, still, I still, I love it. And also another movie that I love is Pumping Iron, because it's just. You know, it kind of like inspired me to work out and just see a different type of training and you know also that move was a little ways back but I was also like you know a child and looking up to, to um, you know I always wanted to go to, to um, in Venice Beach you know that huge gold gym and you know I, I went to go and it was amazing and it was just you know epic I saw the Blue Ferrigno there and one of the American gladiators so it was really cool and, uh, yeah, let's see. Mm, my goal. My goal. I have a goal that I wanted to achieve for many years, and I never pursued it just because I feel like, I don't know, maybe I wasn't in the right type of environment to, to, um, to just go forward with my goal. My goal was always to compete in a fitness competition or a bodybuilding show. And I was really, really, really close to doing it last year. And then uh, you know, some personal stuff happened and it just kind of like phased out. But this year I'm definitely going to do it and I'm in the perfect environment now, my gym. So end of May, it will be the transformation starts soon. Uh, workout, well yeah, as for working out, pretty much right now what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm not really on too much of a schedule because I'm, 14 and a half weeks just about to uh, the competition I want to enter and so basically I'm just you know I'm still eating my pizza on Sunday and not really being too strict but come you know 12 week more a little bit more strict than 10 weeks I tend to get lean super fast so what happened last time is I actually I actually peaked too soon before my competition so then I had to like go back and forth and it just this time I do it right, and I'm really looking forward to it. I even have a song picked out since I was like 19, so uh, hopefully one day I'll share it with you guys. And uh, yeah, so pretty much at the gym I'm doing like, you know what I'm doing for cardio? Riding my bike to work. That's enough cardio. I can't even move my legs right now. So that's pretty much four days a week, seven miles split up sometimes like today it would be five times a week because I went in on an extra day and uh, yeah I love it I enjoy working out and just it's my thing I'm glad I'm around same minded people and uh, yeah hopefully this will be the year no not hopefully definitely this will be the year that I achieve that goal To me, honestly, it's more important to make that transformation from where I am now to competition day. That's more important to me than just like getting on the stage. I actually have terrible stage fright. I have dreams about getting on a stage and uh, forgetting my lines. So, just but this year, depending on the you know, on my depending on the competition I might do, I think that I would definitely get on the stage as well. And, 
that's pretty much it. And I just want to say thank you very much, Jacob Lenoff, and for you guys for listening to me babble on. Take care. Bye.